guys how's going on this is Bajaj Sam here with another amazing interesting HSR video so we are getting a free doctor issue copy right so if you don't know in 17th of Jan we are, when the doctor issue banner will drop in Hong Kong Star again we are going to get a free copy of doctor ratio via mail if you have already unlocked the mail feature so it is really great because uh, he is a imaginary character and if you don't have the imaginary dan hang um, in your uh, uh, character roster you can get him him and uh, as a dps he can do wonders because he is obviously a hunt character and he can do a lot of single target damage as you are getting a free copy of dr l ratio in your account in your character roster it is a great question that should you go for his idol on one or should you go for his light con this question is only to them who were going to pull for dr ratio before he was going to be free like i was not planning to go for dr ratio anyway so this is not a concern for me but whoever wanted to pull for dr ratio before the news got out that the dr ratio will be free in uh, hongkai star rail at 17th january um, you should think about it uh, should you go for his idolons uh, or should you go for his light con right so let me uh, talk about these two things and uh, you should uh, um, think about that should you go for any of these things or should you save your primo gems primo gems <laughs> we are not in the genshin impact right should you save your jets uh, for future characters like black swan or sparkle right let's start with the idol on but before i go through that uh, i want to share my perspective on this uh, as a free to play player i want to share one thing only that i already to told in many videos of mine like uh, we don't have the liberty to spend jets anywhere we want we have to specifically see where we will get the maximum benefit for our account so i will say if you are going for idolons you can go for it uh, it will make your uh, character more stronger but uh, i will sh share my perspective that you should go for a new character than uh, idolons because more characters will uh, give you the versatility the uh, more ways you can play the game you have the choices to use uh, many other elements in your uh, team so if you are choosing idolon then you have to think you have to decide that you want to make a single character more strong if you don't like that character if you are not going to play much that mm -hmm. character that will be a waste of jets so you have to think about it right so now let's talk about his idolon one that is pride comes before a fall you want the maximum stackable counts of the stress summation increases by 4 when a battle begins dr ashu immediately obtain four stacks of summation when entering a battle to understand this idol ons we need to see the traces of dr ashu or specifically stress 2 that is a uh, summation uh, when dr ashu uses his skill for every debuff on the target his crit rate increases by 2.5% and crit damage increases by 5% this effect can stack up to six times now with idol on one he can get additional four stacks so total stack can be 10 stacks uh, now uh, with e0 doctor uh, ratio you can get up to 15% of crit rate and 30% of crit damage at a time and with e1 uh, doctor ratio you get up to 25% of crit rate and 50% of crit damage that is a lot and it can uh, do a lot of damage if you have a uh, good debuffs on uh, doctor ratio now is it really very very good uh, idol on for doctor ratio um in my opinion it is not that good because here it says that like, uh, for every debuff on the uh, targeted enemy enemy so you have to get um uh, 10 debuffs on the enemy if i am not wrong if i am wrong please uh, correct me in the comment section uh, i think you need 10 debuffs to get full uh, power of this idol on so it will be difficult so i don't think this idolons is too great but if you can do uh, 10 stacks of uh, this um, debuffs then uh, doctor isho can do a lot of damage because 50% more crit damage is not a joke and uh, 25% free crit rate that is also a really really great thing this idolons is good but not uh, super great now this is the e1 of doctor isho i don't want to talk about other idolons right now in this video because uh, maybe in future when i make a build video for doctor isho maybe i am going to talk about uh, the idolons there Uh, right now for f2 piece you don't need to think about uh, more idolons than e1 uh, as and if you are a whale or a dolphin uh, you if you want to spend money on the game then uh, you don't need to think about if you like dr isho go for his idolons right now let's talk about his light con so this is an interesting topic because light con is a thing like it is a weapon and you can give the weapon to any of your hunt characters not only dr isho if you don't like dr isho you can give this weapon to 
maybe your yang ching and yang ching can do a lot of damage with it if you are already using a four star light cone it can be a damage increase for him or any hunt characters but there may be a catch because you have to see the light cone is it good for yang ching or any other hunt characters or not is it a general good light cone or is it only good for dr ratio so that we are going to talk about right now so the light cone says at s5 increases the wearer crit damage by 32% it is a flat increase to the crit damage now for every debuff on the enemy target the wearer crit damage dealt against the, this target increases by 12% stacking up to 3 times when using ultimate to tar attack the enemy target the wearer received a disruption effect which increases damage dealt by 60% enables their follow up attack to ignore 40% of the target's defense this effect can last for two turns now i know many of you are not going to pull for this light cone five times so let's talk about uh, the light cone at s1 and that is not a bad thing because at it s1 also it increases the wearer's crit damage by 20% and it is a general thing for every debuff on the enemy target the wearer's crit damage dealt against this target increases by 8% stacking up to three times so total of 24% so you can get a damage increase the crit damage increase of 44% in total with this light cones if you have a, a debuffing character with your uh, damage dealing character so it can be used as a general hunt uh, light cone you don't need to use it only on doctor issue but with doctor issue it can be very very deadly because when using ultimate to attack the enemy target the wearer receives a disruption effect which increases damage dealt by 36% so again this is also a general thing i think if you use any other hand, hunt character and their ultimate it will uh, dealt 36% damage right uh, so it is also a general thing now comes a specific thing for the doctor issue that enable their follow up attacks to ingot to ignore 24% of the targeted dis defense this effect can last up to two turns so this is a uh, crafted for Dr. Shio so obviously it will be great for him as the follow up attacks of Dr. Shio will ignore 24% of the targets defense and that is a great thing defense ignore is uh, super super powerful in this game so it will be great for Dr. Shio but you don't need to think about that uh, is it going to be only for Dr. Shio so no answer is no you can use this uh, um, light cone to any other hunt characters also because it will give them a uh, 44% uh, crit damage increase if you are using uh, with any uh, debuffing characters um, and obviously you are going to use some debuffing characters if you are playing the game right so it will be a good uh, light cone for any other hunt characters also if you are not using it on doctor ratio so should you go for this light cone uh, in my opinion uh, it is a really good light cone and you can think about pulling uh, this light cone because for Dr. Ratio there is a not uh, very get great options right now as a free to play you don't have uh, many options to give Dr. Ratio a uh, light cone you can use the, the sword play that uh, the Shushang light cone and also you can use the Herta Scroll light cone also it will work but not the best in slot so I think um, if you have the liberty of jades, if you want to uh, play Dr. Ratio very much and you want a good light cone for your uh, uh, hunt characters also, then also this will be a great option for you. These all are the thoughts but let's get back to the reality of F2P players. For me also, I'm not going to pull for this light cone or uh, the idols of uh, Dr. Ratio because for f2b players we don't have a lot of jets and we need to think about when while spending those jets and i want black swan in 2.0 maybe sparkle also so i have to save some jets uh, for those characters and i cannot spare some jets uh, in this uh, hunt light cone right now so that was the video guys hope you enjoyed the video and i think this was a pretty straightforward video so if you didn't get it make it uh, i'll make it clear for you so if you have jets on you if you are thinking about getting uh, doctor issue before you got the news that he is going to be free um, then you should go for his eidolon and uh, the light cone but if you are thinking about getting one of it eidolon or the light cone then i'll say you should go for the light cone like the light cone of doctor issue is really great and it can work in uh, uh, many other uh, hunt characters also so it will get a bit more damage boost in your account than his uh, idol on the e1 of doctor ratio so as you are getting free doctor ratio tell me in the comments how you are feeling i am really really excited to play 
with Dr. Ishu as already we already tried Dr. Ishu in a uh, storyline, right? So I really enjoyed his uh, playstyle as a hunt character. The single damage uh, target damage is a lot. So that was the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, keep playing.